Hello everybody, Forest Month is here today with a very short video. Uh, it is about fixing some problems I've said. First time I will start with my uh, anniversary tracker. Just th there was something not so much, not so big issue, but when you've seen, I hope you've seen my in use video when I did baton uh, on the handle side and one of the one of the scale moved a little bit forward so there was about five uh, half millimeter gap so it moves moved forward so i just took two screws uh this is torx 10 torx 10 yeah t10 yeah so i, I just talk needs to have two just you know to fix one side and to fix another another side or, or, or drive to drive to another side but you know it probably uh so i i just loosen up one of them then it doesn't move it doesn't move it was mostly on the top so i need to loosen up all of them which was quite easy and so i set that it up back and just start it up so no no really something hard some big issue just what i mentioned uh, i didn't have this problem on uh, another t i said t1 and 2 uh, basically not on bar career tracker so all of all of uh, my my top trackers uh, were without any problems, without any issue in this in this part, I say. Uh, I don't know if it is because maybe the, the fixed scales, so because the angle of, of hammering was was a little bit, I don't know, strong or powerful, simply because this is longer, so maybe it talks more energy, and that's why it moves. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there is. I didn't. I didn't take them off. Uh, the the black carbon fiber moved also. So when I when I loosen up all of these, the handles start to move. So I believe this is not glued. Even the carbon fiber, this is not glued into that. But anyway, I think I have read somewhere on the tops page or somewhere there. Uh, that they don't recommend you to remove the scales if you need so just send it to them and they fix what you need why why you do it i believe this is because this this i say tube this is probably aluminium tube for the lashing i believe because of that because i tried to remove my, the scales from the, the short machete 0 0.170 and basically i was stuck on this so I can I couldn't loosen up, of course, the handles, but I need to take them off, and I wasn't able to do it without to really destroy them. So I, I just stopped that because I said, okay, I don't need it that much. What what I have in my uh, what I had in my mind was uh, to change the scales scales in size what I what I want to. So if if, if you remember, so the, the last part I said this is tiny, so to make a scales for myself. You, you know what? So there will be it will be simply made for it. Okay, if if maybe I will do it I I don't know, I'm not sure definitely because now I, I got these tapes there, I got the wrapping and I don't see it necessary. Uh, but anyway the problem was there. I tried to take uh, take off the the I believe aluminum tubes and it doesn't work. I don't know if they are glued or in or just just they are, they are stuck it there. I don't know. So I tried it. I, I, I destroyed one side and then I, I stopped that. That's why I'm don't, don't doing this one. So anyway, if I would like to take off these, probably I will have same problem with this with this aluminum tube. You know, so if I will destroy it, then probably it will be no problem. I didn't try it, and I don't see any reason why I should try it. So just just telling you, in in my eyes, it is not glued. And if someone really wants to, from whatever reason, it's possible to take off these these uh, scales. Probably. Okay, my part uh, of this video is my new new mate. Uh, now is really my EDC. Uh, I mentioned four problems or that four issues. As I said, there was a tip. If you remember, there was the wave here, and I was the this on this shiny part, which was only on one side, and this this one 
which in my eyes wasn't done properly, which I, I refuse it, I refuse to, to fix it up because I don't see it as a, as a real big issue and anyone, uh, anyone of them was a really big issue, but you know, especially the blades was the tip for me and the, the wave here. So uh, what I did, I spent <laughs> expected short time. I did, I worked on it about, about uh, half hour moment. I worked on it about five hours, uh, sorry, <laughs> half hour. And uh, then I decided, okay, I need to do some more. So I spent about two hours to fix these problems. So what I fixed is the tip, is, is, as you can see, now it's, it is, uh, maybe from this way, now it's shy, nicely tippy, you can see it. It's nicely tippy. And uh, what I did, because there was there was really about half a millimeter deep, I don't know how to say, like wally, you know, I don't know how to say it, so some joil or simply was this shape. So I need to I needed to reprofile all the edge. So have you seen the grinding here, the shiny line? That's new, that's mine. I I've removed all theirs, all theirs uh, all there's uh, grinding and that was the, that was the hard part the remove was quite easy of course but but put it back wasn't was something hard so basically the the, the the real edge now our blade is about one millimeter shorter so I didn't I didn't help myself from this side but I did everything from the sharpened side so what I did basically I used the stone I used the work sharpener and uh, some carbides, carbides V-shape sharpeners to to uh, help me with some, you know, re removing some big parts before I start to grind. I was, about, I said about two hours. I got done these two things. I will not change this one, as I said, and I'm working on these. I got these shiny parts on both sides, but I, they are not done. They are not as I wanted them. I have, I'm busy now. I don't have time. So Nike is really uh, running now and uh, I, I really love it. What I did also is I really flatted this part. It wasn't flat and now I got about, I got about that space, that space really flat. So it is about two centimeters of that. It is really flat. It's really flat. I don't know if you can, you will see it. Yeah, you can see that now. It's really flat. Uh, so I'm happy with that and uh, now this, the, the blade is sharp as I wanted, it's hair, hair shaving sharp, really. I believe. So I don't want to slice myself. So. So it's really hair shaving. So I took this paper, it was from kitchen towels. So when I do slice, see how, how less effort I need to slice it. So that's really, I put there completely new edge. The, the edge is completely mine. There was the old one came off. So it was a little bit hard. CPM 3V hardened 60 HRC was quite hard, especially this part because it is the widest and there's a really steep angle. So I, I, I'd like to keep it in this way because when I do say short batoning, I mean for two inches or something like that, the, the, this part, sorry, this part will be really the stronger one. And now I EDC the knife and I really love it it's, it's really great in my eyes for as, as an edc for me better than the mini aurora because this is full size knife even even is not that long and definitely not that heavy now it has less even less grams so it's 180 grams so my zt uh, folder zt 0200 is about two ounces heavier folder 
it's two ounces heavier nearly it's not, not not like that but heavier than this fixed blade so that's this really really great knife i need to i need to do some really details and i will do kydex sheet for myself you will see these these things when i will do test on on this knife okay and last thing is for the sheet uh what i said uh, in my eyes, it was that you know it's just okay. It's it's uh, it is high quality sheep. I mean leather. It is done properly. What I don't like now, see that really this this part, this this opening, or this opening. It means the whole the sheet is stays on just this. I don't know how is that rope, but you know you know what I mean. Simply on this. I say I say a rope. You, you know what I what I what I mean. This one. So the she is is holding on this one, this one only. And I'm starting now this sheath to come from. Okay, I, I don't like it really. Uh, so I will make kydex shield for myself to really a dangerous sheath. I believe it is not the safe sheath. And now if there is any Bark River guy listening. This knife, this sheet isn't meant for such knife, and it is really it could be dangerous now. So I will stop carry this sheet as soon as, as as I can. Firstly, what I said sometimes you know it will be dark or something. You can twist the edge and simply slice in into the gap. Just because you can't see it properly, and it's very very easy to twist it. To twist the knife and then it will it will you will destroy that you will you will destroy the stitching yeah that's that's a, that's that's it that's what I meant you will destroy the stitching and then the, the whole sheath I think will open that's first thing but not the, not that problem uh, second thing is as I said uh, the retention retention of the sheath of of the mini Aurora is. I can't pull it off with two fingers. Now I'm, I'm really pulling. Yeah. So I need to really, really pull for that. And this one, this one happens. Uh, this one can do, can go out very fast. Sorry. So the sheet isn't meant for that white or broad blade. So this one. And as I said, it is because the sides are too far to keep tension from the side. So there is not the tension from from sides to keep the knife in. It is not fall down at the moment, but it will lose probably after time anyway. So if you got it on your belt and you just carry, okay, you, you just put it there, just like that, and you are happy with that. I believe in normal camp using probably will be not problem, but uh, even the how deep have a look how deep the handle is, especially if you if you seen from backside. I mean, just comparing, you know, not, not just because this is shorter knife, but comparing, you see that, you know, the, the nearly I say eighty percent of the handle is in the sheath from this side, so there is still tension minimum from one side, but definitely definitely from both sides, and you feel that because the sides the sides are not that wide, and they're they're keeping pressure from from side so that was one thing which wasn't that terrible but you know it can be it can be uh, I said just impractical to, to uh, keep the knife in the, in a sheet which will not hold the edge or, or the knife in in that much that's that's one thing but second and that's that's the point is oh, I believe in in the second or the third time when I put the knife into the sheet, I I I felt that like the tip stabs into the side because you know the sheet is it is leather, so it it could be a little bit twisted like this one or it could be a little bit twisted like this one. Just 
you know, and we are talking about millimeters, not just some something big. And the, the tip stops into the into the side. And the hand the, the leather is about I say three three and a half millimeter thick, no more. And uh, the tip is really sharp. And I, I feel it uh, and it's a couple of times I, I did it. So if you've seen now, okay. So have a look. Now I'm the position, I don't want to push the knife more in because I believe I, I will be in the side somewhere. So I'll tuck the knife out and just I'll compare it where the knife is. So position should be exactly like this one. You see, I'm, I'm with the handle, I'm on the middle. So where the knife is. So you see where the knife is. And that's too close that's too close the tip is is really really close to that and it's, it, will, it will because there is not that big tension you can always push the knife more in so it will be stuck into the into the side or in the worst scenario into the back or, or front front side so it will make a small hole small hole and that and because sometimes I'm carrying the knife with my back pocket in the in that uh, cargo trouser, I mean the army army trousers, where the knife basically sits there. You can see just like that, and uh, I feel sometimes it is just like this one, which can happen. As there's no problem, I believe on this knife it is not issue because I do this. I I do the same with this knife, and also have a look. How thick or wide is sorry? How wide is this part, and how wide is this part? See that? It's a huge. This one. This, this is huge. It's basically same thickness or same wideness. Sorry, some wideness here. And see the, how it's making the spear. I say spear tip. It looks like that. So basically, when this one start to move, and it's happened a couple of times, and I I felt the knife was bite in, in the side. So I believe after some time of using, firstly it lose retention. Maybe I will I will slice the stitching, but I'm more uh, I'm more worried about that the, the tip will dig through from one side, will dig or pierce through that sorry, will pierce through uh, one side and simply it will be out. First the, the sheep will be destroyed anyway and it isn't. It is not served as it should be. It isn't served what in in the way it should be. So I believe what I said in the first video. This sheet isn't meant. Is it practical for for such a knife? It is my opinion. But my opinion seems to me proved when normal using. I'm doing. I am not doing any extreme with the sheet. Just normal carry. So that's that's uh, what I believe. Anyway, I will make a Kydex sheet for myself. So basically, when you see the news video with this knife, and you will see it, uh, probably 99 point something percent, I will have a Kydex sheet for myself. Because uh, uh, I don't like to carry knife, which is even carrying dangerous, you know, it's not about using knife, but, but you know, sometimes you don't know what can happen. So guys in Bark River, I don't know if you, you are using this sheet for uh, like many knives or, you know, just you got similar size. So you just put it there. I, I believe I've seen some of the sheet for you doing in this side. Okay. That's not, that's no point. You can, that's, I don't know. I don't see any problem if that sheet fits that knife proposes. I believe this is not, this is not the, the, the thing. I believe nobody wants to have to go say to, to bush or somewhere there, especially for to bush. And uh, you're going to a bushes, you just, you are outside for a couple of days, maybe even longer, and you will have a knife which Simply, it is, it is not fixed there. I know you can make a sheet which really tight the knife in and is basically uh, a bit problem. So, okay, you can help you with the thumb. But without that, it's really problem to pull the knife 
out. This isn't that case. This is really easy. This is really easy. And I don't want to push the knife more in, say, I, I will secure it more, so I will press it down. If I do, I'm, I'm back somewhere here or I'm out somewhere here. So I will not do it. Thank you very much. Have a nice time and see you in next video. Bye.